back everybody, Matt and the Matt here. I hope you're having a good week. So, The Woman King, new film, came out last week, starring Viola Davis. Uh, I went and saw it, and guess what? It's a damn good movie. I would say, one of the best of the year. So far. Not only that, but if this is the type of caliber movies we're going to be seeing the rest of the year, especially for the fall, especially you're going into Oscar season, oh boy. We're going to get some real heavy hitters then, because The Woman King is easily right now one of my top five favorites of the year, and now I'm going to get into why. Starting right off the top, Viola Davis, this actress, we do not talk about this actress, then we should. I mean, we talk about Amy Adams, and I love my Amy Adams. We talk about Jessica Chastain, The Street Monster, Meryl Streep, um, Natalie Portman, uh, even Jennifer Lawrence at one time, uh, Helen Mirren, I mean, Charlie Theron. I mean, you can go on and on and on and on and on. But we don't talk about Viola Davis as much. Why? I would easily say this is one of the, if not one of the top actresses in Hollywood working today. If you say the name Viola Davis, I am going to check the movie out. Going all the way back in 2008, I want to say, with the movie Doubt, with Amy Adams and uh, the late Philip Seymour Hoffman. She was great. Then you go to The Help with Jessica Chastain and Emma Stone. She was great. Then you go into like Prisoners with Hugh Jackman, Terrence Howard, Jake Gyllenhaal, Paul Dano. She was great. Then you go to the movie that I think she won, she was nominated for, or maybe one, I don't know, uh, Denzel Washington film, Census. She was great. She was even great playing Amanda Waller in most Suicide Squad movies. Um, she was even great in the recent, that last movie. I forget the name of it. Um, but my point is, she's even great in that show, How to, How to Get, Get Away with Murder. This actress is amazing. You say the name Viola Davis in a movie, you better check her out. And like I said, this movie, it is, she does a phenomenal job. A very powerful performance. Not to mention, then you get into the action scene with her doing all her stunts. And then you get into the dramatic moments with, with Shauna Winch. You get into the name to Tuso Mamita. Young actress, brand new actress. She's great. Her scene with John Boyega are great. She gives a powerful performance in this movie. She was one of the producers on this movie. She's the one that has been trying to get this movie made for seven years. And she finally got it done. Congratulations to her. Then we get into Lashana Lynch. A lot of people might, might know that name, might not. She was in the last James Bond movie, No Time to Die. She played the new 007. And I really liked her in that movie. She was also in Captain Marvel as Monica Rambeau. And let me tell you something. The Woman King, Lashana Lynch, excellent. Her scene with Viola Davis, powerful, emotional. Her scene with this new actress, Tusu Mamina. I know I keep butchering the name, I'm very sorry. I mean, she had, her scenes with this young actress are some of the best moments throughout the entire movie. Every time that they are on screen together, I am like, so focused. Because the acting back and forth with both of these actors is phenomenal. And then we got John Boyega. You know that actor that uh, Disney wasted on the Star Wars movies? Yeah, John Boyega plays the king in this movie. He has a small role, but he is also amazing in every scene he's in. You believe him. 
And then, like I said, then you get into this new actress, Chuso Mamina, MVP of the movie. M V P, damn it. She is our point of view into this world, into this womanhood of warriors called the Dakome. And wow, when she is going up against Viola Davis and Lashana Lynch and John Boyega, and she is nailing it, nailing it, nailing it. I'm looking at this going, who are you? In fact, by the time the movie was over, I got on my phone and looked her up and like, okay, what have you been in? And what, what, <coughs> And what are you going to do next? Because after this movie, this actress is going to rise. No doubt about it. She has great action scenes. She has great emotional scenes. Dramatic moments. She can be funny at times. She can be romantic. I'm like, and like I said, she is out acting Viola Davis. You don't act now. You don't act over. Viola Davis. It's Viola Davis. And I'm like, wow. Gina Prince Brethwood. Is not female director. Probably not that well known. Her last movie was 2020's Netflix film The Old Guard with Charlie Theron. I, I, I know that was a pretty good movie. But I think she's even she's done an even better job directing this movie. Between number one, number one responsibility of a director. Direct your actors. And let me tell you something. She knows how to direct her, her actors. She gets phenomenal performances out of all of them. Number two. The action scenes are great. There's about two battles in this movie. And she, I did a, I watched a, um, you know, looking look at the background and making of the movie making of this movie. And she said, I went back and watched The Last of the Mohicans, the one with Daniel Day Lewis. I think it was directed by Peter Weir. She said, I went back and watched Braveheart, the Mel Gibson movie. Because of the battles are the best battles in any film on in film. Film film. Uh, she said I went back and watched Gladiator. That opening battle in Gladiator in uh, Romania, Germany Anyway, the one in the woods at the beginning of Gladiator, you know what I'm talking about, is a phenomenal action battle. See, one of my favorites of all time. The, and I'm like, this, this girl did her homework. And guess what? It might not be on the same level as like that opening in Gladiator or some of those battles in Braveheart, but... And those are the movies that you were looking at, the best, best picture winners, you know, top films in those years. Good job. Damn good job. Um, the action. Let's not forget about the action. Great action scenes. Now, now, I'm going to let you know this movie isn't full action. Action, 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 action. There's a lot of dramatic scenes. There's a lot of character building. There's a lot of a lot of moments where there's no action. None of that. But guess what? I don't go into the movie just to see the action. But the action is very good in this movie. Slim is great. They're written by Dana Dana Stevens and Maria Bello. Yes. Maria Bello, the actress from A History of Violence, uh, Coyote Ugly. Secret Window, uh, what else, Prisoners, uh, you, uh, The Mummy 3, not one, but, so they wrote the script, excellent script, Cinematography, by Polly Morgan, Cinematography by Polly Morgan, excellent shot film, beautiful shots, considering most of this movie takes place outdoors, um, exterior shots in Africa. They look that point. Uh, editing, pacing, 
2 hours and 15 minutes. I never felt bored at any moment. Like, oh man, when is this movie going to be over? No. Never. Um, because I get invested with the characters. Now I just want to see what happens. Now what? Now what? Now what? I'm so focused. So, great movie. I really don't have any negatives with this movie. The only minor, minor, minor negative I have would be the prince has a wife who's jealous of Viola Davis because the king kind of gives her more attention. Not that they're together, but since Viola Davis is a warrior and a strong woman, the king respects that. So there's like this soap opera, you know, triangle man and two women thing. And it's just like, you don't need it. It doesn't hurt in the movie, but every time those moments happen, you're like, can we get back to the, the young girl and Lashana Lynch or the young girl and Viola Davis? That story is more interesting, more compelling. But that's my only negative. Uh, some side notes. Kudos. This movie started shooting in November of 2021. Let me repeat that. This movie started shooting in November 2021. We are in September 2022. That means in less than a year this movie was made. Now I'm not talking about the pre-production. I mean that obviously happened way before. But between shooting, editing, post-production, marketing, and then putting the movie out in less than a year. And with this movie there's a lot of action. There's action. There's a lot, shot, a lot of it outdoors. Excellent. Also, I like I mentioned Maria Bello earlier. She wrote the script. Well, like I said, uh, Viola Davis has been trying to get this movie made, this movie made for about seven years. Well, if you remember correctly, the movie Prisoners in 2013 with Viola Davis and Maria Bello playing the wives respectively to Terrence Howard and Hugh Jackman. Well, it seems like after they made that movie together, or they were in that movie, they connected very well and decided to move along and try and make this movie, The Woman King. Because I think Viola Davis is the producer, Maria Mello is one of the producers and writers of the film. So, there you go, there's some fun facts for you. Um, I would give this movie a 5 out of 5. Or I said it's one of my best, favorite movies so far in the year. And if this is any indication of what we can be getting the rest of the year, Hoorah! Can't wait. Anyway, Matt and the Mad here. Let me know, did you see The Woman King? Let me tell you something. These women. I wouldn't want to mess with them. You know, you got the Black Panther, uh, what is it? The Dole Milaje, the Warriors and Black Panther. I don't know about you, I want to see a movie between The Woman King, Warriors, the, the, the Kome, and the Dora Milaje and the Black Panther. Where's that movie? Viola Davis versus Lupita Nyong'o. Let's go.